Hello everyone, my name is Akerele Oluwa Shogo, popularly known as Mr. Excel. I'm your Microsoft Excel and Power BI trainer at Leadly Data Analytics School. Today I'll be teaching you how to activate image on the Power BI. Maybe you want to create an analysis that involves image and you want your image to show the, to show the pictures of the product you are analyzing or the people that you want to analyze on the Power BI. If you look at my Power BI now, I've loaded my data already inside the Power BI. I have the data called HR data, that's the table, name of the table. And inside the table, I have various columns. You can see I have a pictures column there. If I go to my view selector and I click on my data, so the database have pictures inclusive in the data. So this is an employee data where we have the name of the employee, the gender, the department, the age, the day, joint salary rating, and the pictures, and also the manager of each of the employee. So I want to learn, I want to teach you how to use your image on the Power BI. So let me go to my report view. Let's assume that I create a card visual why I pick the age in the card. So I check the age in the card quickly. So let me reduce the size of the image. So I check my card also. I check gender. Let me place it here. So let's say I check card visual also. I check the manager. Let me place it here. I check also my report canvas, my card. I check the salary, I also have the salary. Let me place it somewhere like this. So let me put the age here, put the gender here like this. So let me reduce the size a little. So let me move this on here, this manager. Let me move the age, some of the age somewhere here. This is the annual salary somewhere here. Okay, good, good. So let me quickly format this. When I click on the card, I'll come under the field. It's showing me first gender. I will remove the first so I can have gender. If I click on the manager, the yeah, manager is showing me first manager. I will double click and remove the first there so that I can have the manager. I press enter. You can see it's been renamed. When you have some of age, I can come under the field. I will remove the sum of there so that I can have only the age. Where I have some of salary, I will double click on the field, remove some of so that I can have the salary and I press enter. So I have something like this. So I also need department, click on my card and I check the department. So it's showing me four departments, double click again to remove the first so that I can have my department. Okay, good. So I want to show that if I pick any staff, it should be the information of the employee. So let's assume I click on my slicer now and I check the name. I put name in the slicer. So you can see this is the slicer already here. So this is my slicer. So assuming I pick any name, this is the name of all the employee we have here. So if I pick, look at it now. If I pick Agnes now, it will give me information about Agnes, the female staff. Ram is the line manager. She's 27 years old. Salary is 87 and is in the website development, uh, website department. If I click on Allen, I can also see that you can see Alice in the procurement department. He's 36 years old. But I also need to see the pictures of each of these employees. So because I have a column that contain their pictures. So when I click on the table and I check pictures in the table, you can see it's only showing me the, the link. It's not showing me the pictures. You can see I only have the link, not their pictures. Not their pictures. So I'm only seeing the link, not the pictures. So what I need to do now is to... Let me expand so you can see the table very well. Let me expand the table. So you always show me the link, not their pictures. So all I need to do now is to go to my view selector and click on the data view. 
under the editor view and I'll select the picture column. When I selected the picture column, I will go to a group called properties. So when you click on the picture column, you will see a tab called column tools. Under the column tools, you will now go to a group called properties. You will see data category. So it's showing you as all categorized. You click on the drop down arrow and change it to image URL, image URL. From all categorized to image URL. If you go back to your report view, you should have the image of the style. So you can see their image is already showing. So if I pick, let me format the image so that it can look bigger than this. Look at the image. If I pick any staff now, Let's say I pick Ale Agnes. You can see the picture of Agnes will show. So look at the Agnes pictures. If I pick Allen, look at the picture of Allen. If I pick Ata Gaspar, look at the picture. If I click Ambrose, it will show me the picture of the staff. It will show me the alarm manager, the age, the salary, and the department and the gender. So that's how to use pictures. That's how to activate your pictures in the Power BI. When you have a link that contains pictures of what you're analyzing, you need to go and change the category there. It's call it data category under the under the data view. You see properties. It's called data category. You need to change it to you image URL before your pictures can work. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Akere Lee Olua Shogo. I'm your Microsoft Excel and Power BI trainer. Thank you.